Hey everyone, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse and I'm back today with weekly update number 26. So this has been about what, six months or so of doing these updates, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I think it's been, been good, been kind of exciting and uh, looking forward to uh, continuing with these, hopefully with the help of somebody, but we'll uh, talk about that later. So let's get uh, started. Let's dive right into Week in Review. So Week in Review is the section of the video where I talk about what's going on this week, what's going on coming up, and uh, I guess everything in between. So uh, first up, you probably can't see it from here, but the uh, incoming is not here yet. It is Thursday when I'm recording this, around middle of the day, and uh, I had expected it to show up on Wednesday. It didn't show up on Wednesday. Apparently it got stuck uh, in Pennsylvania somewhere at a hub. And uh, I'm hoping it shows up today, hopefully after I'm done recording this video so I don't get, get interrupted. But uh, hopefully today, but I'm a little doubtful. Usually I get a call when it's freight the day before to just confirm business hours and delivery window and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't, so I, I don't really expect it to show up today because of that, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. So hopefully tomorrow, because there's gonna be a lot of work to get that stuff ready, hoping to uh, restock it for next week, next Friday the 30th, and uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed everything happens in the, the right time frame to make that happen. I have a feeling I'm gonna be really busy checking all that stuff in. Uh, the other, another big thing, uh, last week, or earlier, actually it was earlier this week, I, uh, I put out our second job listing. So now we have two positions open I'm trying to fill. Uh, one is the media assistant videographer, whatever you want to call it, doer of all things video and media uh, for me. That position's still open, still looking. I've got a few, few candidates, a few resumes on my desk. Hoping for a few more. Uh, hopefully, um, ideally somebody who's really into the hobby and uh, has the requisite skills, but uh, I think I'm going to be potentially looking outside of the hobby, depending on what I get for candidates and just trying to see, see what I can find. I'd really love somebody like the perfect candidate would know about this industry a little bit about the hobby and have some context into anime and Gundam and the stuff everybody's interested in. And, uh, and that'd be great. But, uh, if not, I'll hopefully find somebody who, who's a quick study and very talented on the video side. The, uh, the other position is I'm looking for a second minion. So uh, Dylan's been doing a great job. He's been packing our orders. He's a master of packing those orders well. Uh, but the uh, timing wise, uh, when I hired him, I hired him for Mondays and Fridays, knowing those are the busiest days of the week. And since then I've been asking him to come in basically Tuesday through Thursday for a couple hours each day. And he can do that. And it's worked out kind of okay for me because of uh, his other job and stuff like that, but he's looking for another part-time position. And uh, I'd like to have more coverage and not be stuck if he gets sick or something and then have all the packing to do myself and get buried. So looking to hire another minion, especially with the amount of work on the horizon with this, these big shipments starting to come in again. And uh, so go to mechawarehouse.com. Over the top right, there's the little careers link. You can go find more about both of those positions there and uh, apply and I would love your application if you are interested. Finally, the other big thing happening this week is today, the day I'm recording this Thursday, is the day that I consider Mecca Warehouse's birthday. So Mecca Warehouse is two years old. Yeah, two years old. Uh, and that's two years from when I registered MeccaWarehouse.com, the domain name, and started setting up the online store. Technically the business existed before then. I was selling on, on Amazon and, and direct message on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. But Mecca Warehouse as Mecca Warehouse started on, uh, on April 22nd, 2019. So this weekend we are celebrating. It is our kind of second anniversary, second birthday, if you will, for the business. And uh, as a result, we're gonna have a 15% off sale using the code two year 15. I put that like right here on the screen or something. Flex my, my crappy video editing muscles on that one. And uh, that sale is gonna be good on, on select items. It won't be completely store-wide, but it will be on basically all kits, paints, and a few other items. I think like the acrylic displays are, are counted, Mecca Warehouse branded items, like the patches, 
posters, shirts, stickers, things like that will all be on sale as well. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm super excited about, uh, about making it to two years. It's, that's kind of, I feel like a, a pretty cool accomplishment. And, uh, honestly, if you talked to me two years ago, I don't know that I would, would have thought that I would be sitting here talking to you in this way and have the business at the point where it's at. I figured it would be slow growth, hoping for fast growth, but it's, uh, it's kind of beaten my wildest dreams. And uh, I wanna thank all of you for helping me get here. I wouldn't, wouldn't have succeeded to this point without uh, your patronage and uh, your support. So thank you for that. All right, let's move on to restocks. We do have restocks this week. Uh, this week, our restocks are basically Delpy decal and detail parts. So usually Delpy decal restock weeks are uh, pretty, pretty crazy weeks. Delby makes some amazing decals. They're my go-to personally for decals, and they've got some detail parts that usually fly off the shelves. Uh, one of them are these, uh, we got in, they're not technically made by Delby decal, but they're these uh, beam sabers. This is a, a master grade size beam saber. I think we've got them in five different colors. They've got a little tiny battery and they light up. They're LED, it's pretty cool. And the other one that was really popular last time we, we had this restock were these uh, LED units. They're magnetically operated, so you can use a magnet to turn them on and off, which in theory lets you not have to pull your model apart to flip the switch on and off when you want it to light up. I don't know uh, how well they really work. I think some of the reviews have been mixed depending on how thick the plastic is and how strong the magnet is in terms of how easily they turn on and off but uh, worth checking into and maybe looking at those reviews and asking around, they might be, be worth trying out. They, they flew off the shelf last time. The, uh, we've got a bunch of other detail parts as well. Um, little met, uh, spikes and metal verniers, things like that. So definitely worth checking all that stuff out. It seems like a lot of that stuff, we get it in stock and it flies and then we get it in stock and it flies and we just sell out pretty quick. So if you're, you're looking to stock up on those kind of parts, now might be a good time to do so. All right, moving on, let's do a Q and A. So Q and A is the part of the video where I answer questions from you, the, the viewers, the audience, you know, what have you. And uh, today I've got two, two questions. If you would like to ask a question, post it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your question, whether it be about me, Mecca Warehouse, you know, really anything. I would be more than happy to try to answer it next week. So first question this week is from Sean Klingle. Question for you, Nick, do you have a favorite pilot or pilots? Let's say a top three, for example, and any reason in particular why? Uh, and he also says that mini skit gave me a laugh as well, thanks. So glad you liked the skit, Sean. Uh, I wanna do more of that kind of mix of comedy, kind of off the cuff kind of stuff in videos in the future, It'd be really cool. Um, but anyway, back to the pilots. These are the kind of questions, I get these questions a lot. I get them during the streams, I get them on the, the Q and A's and I always feel kind of weird because I don't, I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm the only person that, that watches this stuff and doesn't constantly evaluate who their, their favorite pilot is or what their favorite mobile suit is. Maybe I'm weird in not doing that, but uh, I don't feel like I do that. So I, I actually spent like 15 minutes before recording this video looking up some of the pilots that I kind of liked and trying to come up and formulate my response to this. Uh, so I think if I want to go top three, number one's probably Duo Maxwell, uh, partially because he's kind of the the non always serious one in the, the group of the, uh, the Gundam pilots in Gundam Wing. He's always got that kind of little bit of a comedic streak kind of kind of smart smart mouth talking back kind of kind of guys kind of kind of enjoy that kind of character um i like shiro amada from uh eighth ms team he's got kind of that very serious let's get it done kind of attitude and seems to look at the impossible and not see it as the impossible in a lot of cases which i think is a is a strong character trait and uh i don't know who'd my third one be Maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna cop out and go with the easy answer, Hiro Yui from, from Gundam Wing, because just he says the most over the top stuff and like he almost takes himself too seriously. I'm not sure if he ever laughs in a way in the entire series that's not like, 
like a fake like I'm gonna kill you laugh. It's kind of kind of crazy, which I find entertaining more than anything. Uh, so hopefully that kind of answers that question. These these questions are good, but they're also super tough for me because I don't I don't know. I guess I don't uh, think about this too much on my own. And then the other question, this is kind of almost like an FAQ kind of question. Krabby Zero asks, how do you join the Discord? I get this question all the time. Anytime I talk about the Discord, people post comments and ask how they join, whether it be in social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, or in these videos. And invariably, you can almost guarantee and bet that somebody is going to post a comment down below today when you're watching this video that says, hey, how do I join the Discord? So, I don't know, you'll have, to, you'll have to see how that pans out. So here's how this works. The Discord is for customers only. We do that only because it kind of keeps the community on the Discord, uh, keeps everybody kind of on the same page. We don't have people joining just to create problems. Everybody's got a little bit of skin in the game and it, it's worked out very well so far. So when you make your first purchase at Mecca Warehouse, you usually get a invite link via email. Sometimes they go to spam filters. Sometimes they get missed and people can't find them. If that's the case and you've made a purchase, you can send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook. You can send me an email, nick at meccawarehouse.com. Um, either way, let me know who you are so I can look up and confirm that you've placed an order and then I'll send you a, a Discord invite link. Uh, easy as that. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is This is the clip I should cut out and then use over and over again because this is such a, a common question but a really good thing all around so anyway that's all i got this week nice short and sweet video uh hopefully that order comes in and i can start uh, checking it in asap uh, but otherwise i will see you all next week have a good one later